Congratulations on starting your Invisalign treatment. The most important aspect of Invisalign treatment is that the trays fit properly. If the trays are not fitting properly, teeth will not move or they will move in the wrong direction. To make sure that the trays are always fitting, the aligners should be in your mouth at all times, except when eating or brushing your teeth. The only other exception is when playing sports. The aligners can be removed for a mouth guard. Aligners should always be removed from the roof of the mouth for the upper trays or on the tongue side for the lower trays. Never remove the aligners from the cheek side of the tooth. The cheek side of the tooth has fragile gum tissue, which may recede from friction from the nail or the finger. To remove the tray, place the pad of your finger on the aligner and push firmly towards the tooth. You will feel the aligner start to slip off the tooth as you push it and it will dislodge. Then gently tease the aligner out of the mouth. Do not pull too hard and rip the aligner. You may use your fingernail or an aligner removing tool to help dislodge the aligner if needed. Remember though, you don't need fingernails to remove them. You just need to push from the right direction and tease off the aligner. Sometimes when trays first go in, they do feel a little uncomfortable. The best way to minimize the discomfort is to put them in immediately before bed and take a Tylenol. This will allow the major tooth movements to begin while you are asleep. Attachments will be placed onto your teeth. The attachments are made of clear dental composite, which is easy and safe to remove at the end of the treatment. Attachments help seat the teeth into the trays and are needed for the movements to occur. If we do not use attachments, we need to use braces instead. A recent study, though, showed that from five feet away, nine out of 10 people could not tell that a patient had attachments on their teeth. If an attachment breaks, call our office and let us know. We will set up a time to put another one on. This is not an emergency. In most cases, all of the trays will be given at the start of the treatment. You will generally be changing aligners once a week, unless we give you other directions. Checkups occur every 12 weeks. You will be reminded of this by a sticker on your liner bag not to move ahead to the next tray without first contacting our office. If you do move ahead to the next tray, but 2-3 contouring was planned, this can cause treatment to get off track. Make sure that you contact us if you see this sticker and haven't been told that it's okay to move to the next aligner. If it feels like an aligner is not fitting properly, wear the current tray for longer or use a chewy or munchy to help seat the tray better. If the trays don't improve, contact our office and we will have you either come in for an appointment or just send us a picture to see how the tray is fitting. When moving teeth with Invisalign, it is not possible or sometimes even desirable to move all the teeth with the first batch of aligners. Similarly to how you do not park your car when parallel parking all in one movement. Most patients will have a second or even third batch of aligners in the course of their treatment. It is important to remember though, individual treatment time is an estimate based on the conversation that we had at your first consult appointment. It is not based on the number of aligners you received in your first batch. The best way that you can help reduce the amount of aligners required is to wear your aligners as much as possible. Aligners can be cleaned with denture cleaner, with Invisalign cleaning crystals, or with Blue Dawn dish soap. If you do happen to lose your aligner, or it cracks or breaks, it is okay to move on to your next aligner. The next aligner will probably be tight, but as long as it fits well, that is okay. Don't move on from this aligner until it feels like it's loose or until the day that you normally would have changed that aligner if the first one hadn't broken. If the entire set of aligners is lost, no problem, we can reorder them for you. If you do notice sharp edges on your aligners, simply smooth it with the emery board that we give to you. If the tray is bouncing on the back teeth, this is pretty easy to fix. Just squeeze the tray tightly between your fingers. The tray should now fit. When you are at the end of seven days and ready to change your aligners, the aligner should always fit tight over the teeth. If there is a gap, aligner chewies and munchies should be used. 
To use the chewies or the munchies, bite down and hold the area where the aligner needs a better fit for 5 seconds, then release. What is essentially happening is the tray is getting forced up to the attachment of the tooth and re-engaging. This process can be repeated for up to 10 minutes at a time, 3 times a day until the gap is reduced. Chewies and munchies should also be used when first putting the trays in so that the trays snap into position. The main difference between the chewies and the munchies is just the patient's preference. Although Invisalign aligners can straighten teeth, they cannot change the position of the arches. This is what dental elastics do. Dental elastics work by hooking directly to the trays or onto the teeth on small hooks. In some cases, we hook the elastic tray to tray, or in other cases, we use composite or metal buttons that hook onto the teeth. Using elastics, once you have the hang of it, is generally pretty easy. The hooks are highlighted with Sharpie here to make it easy to see, just like the elastics. To actually put the elastic onto the trays is pretty easy. You take both of the trays and put them together, almost like the teeth are biting. Then taking the elastic, hook it from one tray to the other tray on the little cutouts. Don't let go of the tray or the elastic will cause it to move. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Hook the elastic from one tray to the other tray. Then, taking the tray like a sandwich, put it in your mouth and press down against your bottom teeth and then bite into it so that it goes on your top teeth as well. If the elastic does slip or come off, it is not a big deal. Simply grab the elastic with your finger and thumb and pull it forward over the top line. Recontouring the teeth is a common orthodontic procedure and may be done for two reasons. One reason is to reduce the friction between the teeth as they slide past each other. This procedure does not require dental anesthetic. It's fast, safe, and necessary for the teeth to slide effectively. The second reason for recontouring teeth is to manicure the edges, improving the appearance of chips. Retainers are needed at the end of any orthodontic treatment to prevent the teeth from moving back to their initial position. Teeth try to move back because of a ligament that acts as a shock absorber. This ligament tries to pull the teeth back to where they once were. In most cases, retainers are only needed for nighttime use, but this does change from patient to patient. We'll cover the specifics of this at the end of treatment. To summarize the main points of starting your treatment, wear your trays as much as you possibly can. This will help speed your treatment. Using chewies and munchies, every time you put the aligners in, will make sure that they're fitting properly. But especially focus on using them in areas where the trays are not fitting well. If the aligner breaks or is lost, try the next one in and see how it fits. In most cases, this is not a problem. Elastics are used in most cases to make sure that your top and bottom jaws are going to bite properly together. The elastics are easy to use and should be changed each time you take out the aligner. Remember, you can contact us at any time. If any problems are occurring or you have a question, take a picture of the trays in your mouth and text them to our orthodontic concierge number on your Invisalign family and friends card. Thank you for trusting us with your orthodontic care. We do dentistry differently at West Grand Prairie Dental.